Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Dream Collection. Aw oh, yeah, time to check out the last game in the collection. Time for some Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards. Now I should probably reiterate, like I've told you guys before, probably in a very earlier episode of this Let's Play, that I have played this game before, but only for, I would say, an hour or less maybe like the first couple levels at best and to be quite honest I don't even remember anything about it other than it was Kirby and you get power-ups and you eat things because you're Kirby what the hell is going on here don't even try to have a story Kirby don't even do it well not that Kirby never had story all the Kirby games have a story technically but this one's got little fairies all up in this what's going on around here Interesting. Cutscenes. Gotta love them N64 cutscenes. And oh man, the darkness is coming. God, that reminds me of last episode already. Shooting that eyeball to death until it finally died. We get to see it rendered in glorious Nintendo 64 3D. <laughs> Alright. Kirby 64, the crystal shards. No music on the title screen. Gotta love it. And as you can see, I have not started playing this yet. Evidenced by the fact that they're all completely empty files. Let's start it off. Do you know how to use Kirby's copy ability? Well, I do, technically. But maybe there's some nuance that I don't know in this game. Maybe that changes it. B is inhale. Alright. B is exhale. Uh, that much I could probably surmise myself. Thank you for completely copying. Oh, okay. Down would be swallow. Well, Kirby swallows. He feels renourished and stuff. Okay, he gets the power. And I think I remember... Okay, well, let me finish reading this before I explain what I think I remember. Okay, I can use C, L, or R to lift. Well, too bad I'm not using an N64 controller. So that doesn't make any sense to me. If you hit two enemies that have special powers... Aha, okay. You'll get a power combo. See, this is the part I remember learning. So I've definitely watched this tutorial before. I recall this much. That you can get, like, combined power-ups. That, I kind of I kind of remembered that. I don't know what all the combined power-ups are. Apparently, you can have flaming bow and arrow Kirby, which is actually kind of cool. Oh, wow, you can throw the things upwards. That's actually pretty nice. Very nice. Spikes with rocks gives you what? A spike rock? How much longer is this tutorial going to last? I just want to start playing now. Drill, Kirby. Damn, that was a cool one. It's like a drill that goes into the ground. Would you like to view it again? Hell no, I get it. And now we get an opening cutscene. Oh, hooray. Now, I don't know how this game is split up like the other Kirby games. If it's split into worlds with levels then we can easily split this up like doing a few levels an episode. But if it's not like that at all, I don't know how we're going to split it up. So for now, we're just going to play it by ear and see what happens in this first episode. If I kind of figure out how the game layout is overall, I can kind of figure out how I'm going to split this whole LP up. But I can already tell you this is probably going to be the longest part of the Let's Play. I mean, each game has lasted longer than the one before it, pretty much. Sort of. Well... Let's see. I think Superstar and Dreamland 3 were like the exact same amount of episodes overall. Level 1, Popstar. Um, okay, well this must be the first world or whatever because I can't move. Oh, okay. So it actually is at levels. So I guess we'll go to level 1. Now this part I do remember, not this part in particular, but the fact that the levels are like 3D levels on a, but you were on, you're on a a set path you can't you can't uh, change the path you're on that much I remember now I don't know if you can't change your path at all but what I do know is right now my path is stuck on like a 2d plane even though we have a 3d rendered area it looks like we still have our little star points from all the other Kirby games I'm guessing if I get a certain amount of those I'll get a free one-up and I'm guessing that two on the bottom is my one-ups now, the collectibles are probably that crystal thing that I just picked up. I'm going to go and assume that's the real collectible. Seeing as how this is called the crystal shards, 
and that looked like a crystal shard. I think I'm probably safe in assuming that that was a crystal shard. Is this a maximum tomato? Yes, it is. What the fuck is this? Mini boss? Mini boss in a cabin? That was easy enough. Easiest mini boss in a cabin ever. The music in this game is very different, too. They definitely tried to go a little bit more up-tempo this time around. Maybe I should try some, uh... Try some... Oh, damn it. You can't... Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. That might have helped. I was gonna do combination, but I fucked up. Guess I'll never do combination if you keep fucking up. Quit eating all the food, Kirby. You fucking food monger, you. Sorry, I don't know why these controls are messing with me. They're the same th controls I've been using for the last four Kirby games. What the hell? <gasps> Poppy Bros! Yes, the bomb power-up. Yes. Yes. Poppy Bros is back. Back again. Let's see if we can combine that with bombs. Damn it. Hold on. It's, I, won I wanted to, but I fucked up. Let's wait till we get to another... Ooh, crystal shard. That was completely an accident. Nice. <laughs> completely an accident. Works for me. Now, if those crystal shards aren't the collectible, you can let me know, but I think I'm pretty safe in assuming that that's the collectible. What do you want, Waddle D? Ow. What do you want, Waddle D? Sorry, I said ow because my knee just popped. Waddle D is apparently about to get raped by the shadows. Run, Waddle D, run! The shadows are after you, sir! No! Oh, the cutscenes. They're so cute. Waddle D, are you okay? Okay, we're fighting Waddle D. Why? Hey, 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 bitch! Uh, what did I do to you, Waddle D? I just came over here to see what was wrong, and now you're just attacking me? What did I ever do to you? I wonder if Waddle D gives you the beam power up again. I don't know. You know what? This isn't Waddle D. I'm calling him Waddle D, but he's got one eyeball. That's Waddle D, isn't it? But wait, he was Waddle D a second ago. He turned into Waddle D because he had two eyes when I ran into him at first. Yeah, see, now he's Waddle D, so he turned into Waddle D. Ah, I get it. And now what? Now I got a best friend forever? It looks like that is the case. What is all this shit? It's all this shit. The heck? What am I doing? The hell is that? What what am I doing? What what was that? Is that like the normal Kirby end of level segment? Huh. Okay, and I'm guessing those little shitty ass blue marks under the dice that says one are the three crystal shards that I collected in that episode. So that makes sense, I guess. Let's go ahead and take on the next stage. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get in in this first episode. But so far, it seems like a decent game. I mean, it doesn't seem terrible. It's definitely not as fast-paced as the t regular 2D Kirby games, but I guess I can't expect it to be. Now, let's try and combine some of these bitches. Aw, oh, there's no umbrella power-up? Well, that's disappointing. Here I was, ready to marry Poppin' some bitches in 3D. Oh, come on, and then I missed. I was ready to marry Poppins Vicious in 3D, man. That would have been fun. Alright, let's try to combine stone with... Yeah, okay. We got stone and fire. What's that gonna do? Oh, nice. Wait, it's like a volcano, Kirby? Alright, alright. I can dig it. You can only do it standing still, though. You can't do it while you're running. I mean, you, could, you have to, like, stop and set up, so to speak. Set up the Kirby turret of volcano -ness. It works. I don't know if I like it that much. It is kind of cool, but it's not amazing. It's kind of slow. Can Kirby slide? Yes, he can. Let's double check him. I like when Kirby can slide. Slide, slide. Duck, duck, slide, slide. Jump, jump. Duck, duck, slide, slide. Jump, jump, duck, duck, slide. Okay, stop with the Mega Man references already. I'm tempted to drop this power up though. I'm not a big fan of it right now. Let's uh let's get the spark power up. Okay, or we'll just completely destroy the spark guy and not get anything. That's great. Cause that's totally what I was going for. God damn it. Come here, spark bitch. Yeah, I thought so. I thought you were gonna be the spark guy. Spark those bitches, Kirby. Spark them. 
Spark him, bitch. Spark him. Spark him, bitch. Spark him. Spark him. Sparky McSparkerson. Fieldville. Shesterton Fieldville. Um, there we go. Oh, come on. Come on. I was just trying to combine ice with ice with lightning. Ooh, ice with bomb. Ice bombs? I'm kind of excited. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, nice! You can be a fucking suicide snowman? That's fucking amazing. Who can apparently jump and hit his head on the ceiling and still blow up? Suicide snowman. That is amazing. Oh, he actually maxes out his jumps? That's disappointing. Alright, well you can't jump forever. Learned learned another thing. What do you want, Waddle D? Oh, I see. He's gonna help us get across. Like a hamster D. Hamster D getting across across this chasm ye. Hamster D. Hamster D. Have I gotten any of the collectibles in this episode so far? Or this level, area, whatever, at all? I don't feel like I've gotten any. Huh. I wonder if those stars led to any of them. I feel like I should have checked. Or whatever. I wonder if getting all the crystal shards even really matters in terms of getting, like, something. I guess you guys can let me know that since this is the first episode. Just be like, yeah, you should probably get all the collectibles. You're gonna need to if you want to fight some special final boss. Oh my god, we're gonna suicide Kirby the shit out of this guy. Yeah, you're so fucked. You're so fucked, spring bitch. You just got suicide bombed so hard. Alright, there's a crystal shard for me. Huzzah. And... Is every level gonna have, like, a boss boss at the end? Oh, look, it's that painting bitch that we fought at the in, in Dreamland 3. When did we fight her? We fought her, like level 4 in Dreamland 3, something like that. She started painting all the bosses and stuff. We gotta start fighting them. Looks like she's, uh, oh, oh. Oh, you just got raped by the shadows. That sucks. And now what? Shadow Painter? Shadow Van Gogh? It rhymed. Alright, so, just like a usual painting boss, I'm gonna sick, uh, sick some random monsters on us, which will just promptly suicide bomb to death. Yeah, I'm gonna suicide bomb all y'all bitches to death. This is just unfair. Even the spike guy. Oh shit, it's the spider. I didn't expect that. Wow, these are all the classic Kirby monsters. For real. The mummy, the spider. What the hell? Somebody's genitalia or something? It's all blurry. Whatever, suicide bomber was just not even fair. Now what? Fucking bubble bobble? It is fucking bubble bobble. Getting 2D bubble bobble written on paper fucking surface like paper like a paper Mario boss or something. Got owned. Now what? Bring it. Oh god, you're gonna you're really gonna draw that guy? You're really gonna draw that guy? Whatever, we're gonna suicide bomb him too. This is like the most OP Kirby move ever. Destroyed. Are you done yet? Okay, now you're gonna come for me yourself. Sucks to be you. I win. One to nothing. Boom. Victorious. Crystal shards. Yay. And we helped our little painter friend. Awesome. High five. Low five. Too slow. You don't even know. Oh, painter friend is so happy. So happy. Yes, let's run fast. Gotta go fast. So I guess this is supposed to be like the end of level thing. You press it whatever way you're facing, maybe? What's that question mark thing in the back, I wonder? Okay, well that was fucking terrible. Whatever. Fine. Well then, I missed I missed the first crystal shard in that level. Maybe I should just try to figure out where that is, and then I'll be done with this episode instead of going on to the next level. I think I'll do just that. Let me see if I can find the shard. Okay, well, I can show you my first death. The fuck, man? That was disappointing. My guess is the collectible is actually down here. You know that little string of stars that was right under this little bridge thingy that I went under? I was very curious what was down there. My guess is you gotta time your jump and kind of, like, float back to safety kind of thing. I can picture it already of how to do this. 
Just gotta be careful here. So if I go now, yep, it is. So I'll grab it and then. Shit, I'm gonna die. Fuck, Kirby, no! No, Kirby, no! Damn it. I wonder if you get to keep it, though. That's the next question I have. Did I waste my life? Well, here we go. We're probably gonna waste another life trying this. But I'm gonna see if I got it or not. If I got it, sweet, I could just exit the level. Otherwise, you gotta beat the level with the shard. That's, that's perfectly acceptable. I just hope that's not the case. Shitty part is I got all the stars down there, so I can't see where the hell... Or did I get all the stars down there? Maybe I missed one. Um, I think I did. Let's just try and see if it's down there still. Okay. So that is not the case. Oh, Kirby. Oh, Kirby. I see what I did wrong. Alright, well, it's gone, so that's a good sign. I wasted two lives in the process, but once you grab a crystal shard, you're good. Oh, and we have to... Oh, seriously? Well, whatever. I'll just meet you back outside the level, I guess. Okay, so level two is completely complete. I got all three crystal shards there. Fantastic. And that's going to conclude this episode of Kirby's Crystal Shards. So next time, we'll head on to area three here in the first level or world or whatever the hell you want to call it. And we'll probably finish off the first world just because I don't know if there's three or four levels, but... Or four or five, I don't know. Based on the shape of this page, there's got to only be probably one more on there. I don't know. We'll see. See you next time. Peace.